Oh, is this ever neat looking under this? Here's the dipsy doodle part of the wing. I just love the way the leading edge comes down like that. And the mechanisms of the ailerons or the trailing edge flaps or whatever you want to call them, they're got these huge covers around them. Holy smokes. Can almost touch the back of the wing. British Airways Concord. G-Boag. <laughs> this thing went Mach 2. These engines, this thing ran quite a bit. Airline service. Wow, are they beat up looking? I guess these clamshell doors on the back are the thrust reversers. Hard to imagine they have them, but I guess this thing needs all the help it can get. They've added um, a giant air conditioning system so that you can actually be in it. It's closed right now, but it was open last summer when I was here. I'll show you some of that video. The uh, flap sure looks like a composite structure. It's flat as a board, as is much of the wing. I see rivets in the wing in most of the panels, but I sure don't see any in the uh, flaps themselves. Oh, the engines look cool from here. They sure do. It's a big box of power. Cool. A bunch of stuff going on back here. It almost looks like it's been uh, reinforced a bit there in that weird section. That little tail strike. I wonder if they they knew that it needed that or they put it on after they hit one in testing. I wonder. And we're at the Seattle Museum of Flight on a beautiful day in October. Still locked out with with our strike. Well, it's not my strike. We're locked out. Spending all my time looking at airplanes instead of working. Not something I want to do for much longer. It's kind of weird. Look underneath the wing here with these little, little wheels going across. You know, this airplane got the big modification after the tanks came apart. And I'm wondering if those were added to the airplane. It was grounded for a couple of years when they had a, uh, a tire blow up and the shreds of the tire ripped into the plane and I, I guess right above the tire is, is the fuel tank and it busted it open and they lost that plane. Well, this is a big plane, that's for sure. With a very fresh coat of paint on it. And here's the engine intakes. Some handy dandy covers that have been screwed into position. And very, very big landing gear looking thing. Weird reflector on the foot. I wonder if they all had that. There's a lot going on in there. For sure it must be. That, that landing gear leg looks like it's more than a foot thick. And you can see the hinge of the brackets up top there. That's a foot and a half across. And those uh, those ears coming down, that's an inch thick to one of the, the outside, the inside ones. More than a half inch. I wonder if this plane is metric. I bet it is. Do the British and the French. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. 
quite beautiful. See how complicated the landing gear is. It actually has to, it hinges way up there. And it's getting, it, it, it gets pulled in on two angles. Oh boy, I think I some more. Yeah, they got some ladders over here. I need to set up some ladders and have a real look at her. I guess uh, these are inner gear doors that uh, open up. And these bogies are pretty big. I wonder why there's a little picture of a, a, a no dude over there. <laughs> Don't stand here. You'll get fucked up. Fuel system water drain, which means it's at the bottom of the tank. Got a fuel tank right underneath the passenger compartment. It's leaking a bit. That is so weird that something's come out of that little hole making a leak. Oh, here's where you service the toilets. <laughs> oh, maybe that's pee. Uh oh, the toilets are leaking. Oh, you're just taking off. Where does that go? Apparently you can jack it up right here. Weird. 